get there. Look at the damage on the left front of Juan Montoya's Chevrolet. Coming off turn number two, the car snapped loose, spun down to the bottom of the racetrack and into the wall, Daryl. Let's see if we can, uh, maybe has a soft tire here. No, I think it just gets out from under him. Cars are a little loose up off the corner over there. I don't believe it was a tire issue, Mike. I believe he just lost it. He was running roughly about the 16th position. Boy, Greg Biffle that 16 right behind him when that happened. Close sure. call. You see the tires blowing as the car slides down the racetrack, but I believe it, I don't believe he had a tire down. Boya in the garage with his car still under. Oh, trouble down here, guys. Turn, turn four. four. The 47 car, Marco Sambros just comes around. This poor guy can't catch a break. All right, buddy. You got no flash. Keep rolling there. Boy, if it wasn't for bad luck. 4150, say 4150. The leaders are coming off of four. Say 4150. These two weeks would have nothing at all for him. Soft, soft right rear video was that taking the two tires did not work well for them, and there's the result. But I'm going to tell you who this is a pretty good break for. Pretty impressed with the way that car did. The 11 car, Denny Hamlin, because he did not pit the last time. He was about 10 laps from having to make a green flag stop. We see Marcos. He just gets loose. Car gets around on him. All that smoke's from staying in the gas, so it won't back back up the hill into the wall. Pretty nice job of hanging on to her. Goodbye, Cohen, but he did keep it out of the wall and otherwise out of harm's way. Uh, his pit is right there. And they said, no, no, go around. It's a little snappy loose right there on corner exit. But, Darrell, you could see he had those right side tires above that black, and there's just no grip right there. You just can't. You know what? He, I mean, that's the first time he's really hit the wall. Tire down. So th this caution will be a big break for both these guys. Right above the split. I think we're going to find out that Mr. Johnson is not very happy here with the, the 11 car. Third caution of the night. And it comes at lap 166. What Watch happens? What here. happens? Here comes the 48. He just gets loose right here. Smacks the fence, and that puts the 11 car into the grass. 11 car was uh, trying to be a, avoid the 48 as he was kind of trying to catch it after he hit the wall. But the question, Daryl, is what got Jimmy Johnson so he, loose? There? He just, he just look. The car just starts wiggling a little bit with him, and uh, we saw him do that in the All Star race. He said it was because car was his outside. That's my point about that 48 car. It's just a free running race car. You've got to be on your game. Inside tires only for Kyle Busch. Crash. Oh, crash with the 12. Kyle Busch coming out of his pit. Brad Kozlowski trying to get in. And this is after Kyle almost had a collision with another car trying to get out of his pit stall. Matt's right there. So everyone is. Oh, they for Jimmy just... Johnson, and he hits hard. Yep, finally. I mean, he has just been hanging on, hanging on, hanging on. A lot of damage to that car. It has been a rough two weeks for Jimmy Johnson at Charlotte Motor Speedway. It has been a rough season. The first six races this year, three wins. In the last six races, no wins. Two DNFs and an average finish of 19. Oh, it's, it's incredible how many times you see right there. And he just can't, the car is so loose and so free, he can't hang on to it. Of course, you know, Larry, there's the other thing. The leader right behind him, probably pushing as hard as he could, trying not to go a lap down. That is a very hard hit. And if they are unable to repair that car, it would be the fourth did not finish of this young season for Jimmy Johnson. Which is highly unusual of that 48 team. Yeah, and I don't think they can fix that with the kind of damage it had. In the last two seasons, both championship winning years for Johnson, he had only one DNF each of the Right side, guys. Same spot, exit of turn four. Tires down, sheet metal pancaked. Trying to get to the pits. No caution, we stay green. Start of the night. One for Montoya, one for Ambrose. Or whatever you want to do for. Oh, got a car hard down into turn one down there. Up Piffle. into the wall. Looked like something broke. Caution is out. 
the for car the seventh just, time. Man, the car just shot up the hill like something happened to it. Now the big beneficiary from this caution will be Sorry. Kevin Harvick in the 29 that took that wave around just a few laps ago. Back on the lead lap. There he is right there. It's a perfect world for a wave around. No, he just looked. I don't know. Did you think something broke? No, but he hit it spoiler first. And that has really rearranged the running seventh start at 10. Kevin. Big crash for Marcus Ambrose. And that changes everything with 24 laps to go. I don't think this is going to play into the ones cars hands. Uh, he's just hadn't been that good on these short runs uh, on these restarts. Perfect for the two though because he's pretty good. At this seven uh, up by the wall. Yeah he just gets up here a little too high and loses it and it just kind of comes around. He can't catch it. But you know what Mike at this point if you said who's going to win this race reeling him in but he didn't get by him before the caution came out. Wow. It's a hard hit way on the right side of the screen. Roger Penske prevails. Kurt Busch wins the Coca Cola 600. Jamie McMurray. Kyle Busch, Mark Martin, David Rudem in the top five, Jeff Gordon, Clint Boyer, Paul Menard, Ryan Newman, and Matt Kenseth, the top ten. That's what I'm talking about. That was awesome, buddy.